Welcome to our lecture online. Since we're talking about charges and electricity, it's only the right thing to do to talk about Benjamin Franklin. He came up with a very interesting experiment all the way back in 1752 near the town of Philadelphia. Some people may complain that I called it a town, but back then it wasn't that big, so we'll call it a town. So he waited until a upcoming storm was arriving, the potential was some lightning in the sky, and he was interested in showing that lightning is related to electricity. Now, they've already done experiments before with static charges. They used what we call the Leyden jar, which is a jar that's basically a primitive capacitor onto which they could store charges, just like you can store charges on a capacitor. And so what he did was he got a kite, he attached a hemp rope onto the kite. Now, it was raining, and so the rain would then make the hemp rope wet and provided a conducting path for charges, which actually made it very dangerous to do this experiment because if lightning had actually hit the kite, it may have come down that wet hemp rope and electrocuted whoever was holding that rope. To try to make it safe, because he didn't realize there was a certain amount of danger involved with that, he actually had the last portion of the rope not made out of hemp, but made out of a silk thread. And he tried to keep it dry by staying indoors and having a cover so that the rain would not make that silk thread wet. And he was hoping that that would give them the insulation needed to protect himself from the, uh, from the potential striking of lightning. Now it turns out, as far as we know, it's probably his son who actually flew the kite. His son was helping him with the experiment, probably much better at flying the kite than he was. And uh, so it was definitely dangerous for both him and his son to do so. On the hemp rope, he attached a metal key and he attached the Latin jar trying to accumulate charge on the jar during the experiment. So they got the kite up and they flew the kite and after a while, they began to notice that the loose strings on the hemp rope began to stand up, just like what would happen to your hair when you touched it on the graph machine. The charges building up on the hemp rope started to be visible by, of course, when you have light charges on, on pieces of string close to each other, they would repel each other and they would stand up, just, just like your hair would stand up. So then uh, Benjamin Franklin, Franklin brought the uh, kite back down he got close to the key, and as he got close to the key, he felt a little bit of a spark, so it was a little bit of jumping of charge across, and then he actually touched the key, came very close to touching the key, he actually felt the, the electric charge coming from the key, which to him proved that what was going on in the lightning here in the storm was the same thing as electricity, that was his whole point. And then, of course, he began to realize that the potential dangers there, that lightning could strike houses and so he then uh, suggested that high buildings and houses should have a long metal pole with a very sharp point. It turned out that he showed that with a very sharp point it was more likely that lightning would strike the pole rather than another part of the house perhaps and then he suggested that they would have a conducting path like a wire leading to the ground outside just like what we currently are using in most homes and buildings that are potentially uh, that could be struck by lightning so his experiment in that respect was a success of course there was a lot of misnomer about what exactly it did and sometimes people think that the cat was there to be struck by lightning that's definitely not what they wanted to do but through the agitation what goes on in the air, there was charges being collected onto the hemp rope because of the key, trying to store it in the Latin jar. And basically what happens is that the action of the rain and the wind and the air and the particles that are moving up and down in a, in a storm situation, you tend to have positive charges moving up and negative charges moving down. You tend to have a separation of charges. So the separation of charges caused the key to get charged and then he noticed that yes indeed that was the case when he brought the, key, the kite and the key back down. So a very interesting experiment, successful in that nature. He didn't discover electricity so to speak, that was already a known quantity, but he wanted to show that there was a connection between lightning and electricity and he did so successfully. Not bad eh? for someone who knew nothing about it. <laughs> You're recording this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're terrible. Um.